Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. <clears throat> I want to bring you this uh, video about my tripod cooker and the modifications I've made to it. Now, this right here is a Lodge, I believe it's called the Tallboy um, tripod cooker. And it's designed for cooking over open fires with like a... Um, it originally comes with um, a chain, just a chain there in the middle to cook um, with like a pot, um, Dutch oven style cooking. So I wanted it to be more versatile, where I could um, cook or smoke meat, um, grill, that sort of thing. So I made this modification, <clears throat> and I've seen kits you can buy that is like a tripod grill and they were real chintzy they just were pretty cheap and not real uh, heavy duty and I wanted something that would last for years and I want to show you guys this modification I made and so you can maybe do it yourself and this is an excellent way to cook uh, your uh, meats and smoke them and so forth you can also put a pot on that uh, grill grate there and uh, I'll just kind of go over the features and how I did it that uh, this is a real good quality um, tripod so uh, if you guys are looking for a tripod go look for the lodge I think it's called the tall boy they make I guess two versions maybe a shorter one and this is obviously the tall one so I wanted something uh, uh, the tallest they had so I could have plenty of flexibility as far as the size fire that you put below <clears throat> and then also flexibility as far as how high I could get off the flame. Now keep in mind, guys, and I'm gonna try doing this, holding this camera as well as talking. Um, you can adjust these arms uh, up in closer or um, further apart uh, to make it taller or shorter, uh, closer to the flame. But let me show you this. I had this grill grate <coughs> extra, and um, you can buy these grill grates separate if you find any place that sells um, uh, grill accessories <clears throat> but this one was a stainless I actually have a couple of these extra uh, where I did some changing around of a grill but if you look the first attachment point um, is here and what I did was these are little like um, carabiner style pieces that screw in that you can get in Lowe's uh, or any hardware store should have something similar to that then I have this chain here, this right here. I wanted something fairly lightweight, but yet durable. And chain uh, is the kind of way to go with that. It, um, the cable, if you did cable throughout this, you could do that. Um, but it would eventually possibly kink or just not hang real nice and straight. Chain will hang nice and straight. So you'll take four pieces of chain, even length. You have to measure and get, get it cut exact, because if not, the platform will not stay even. So it'll all come up to this single attachment point, which is another one of those uh, carabiner style with the screw. And then I did this S hook and I went ahead and tightened this bottom one a little tighter so this piece cannot come off of this. And I left this loose. And the reason is, is so I can take this completely off. And then if I want, hang on guys, let me see if I can do this while I'm on camera. And then if I just want to attach it, I would just hang it like that. So that's the next connection point. Find these S hooks about anywhere. Um, then I put this swivel on. Now, when I originally did this, I just took this cable here and I ran it up over and around this S, this part of the frame and the tripod. Well, the problem with that was when after a while this weight coming up and down just on this it would curl this uh, cord here, this braided line would um, steel cable would create a memory. So it's kind of like taking uh, scissors and t taking that flat edge and running up and down a, uh, <coughs> a piece of ribbon, like maybe your wife or your mom uh, do to decorate uh, a ribbon, a flat ribbon for a, a wrapping a gift. Well, this was kind of what would happen with this. <coughs> it started getting real kind of curly. So I went back and I found this little piece here that uh, this little pulley style that uh, was big enough to fit over in on this and then run the cable through. So what you have to do is run your cable through first and then you'll find these little crimps here to crimp it uh, right there. All right, and if you follow this down, 
to here, you see this uh, cable comes around onto this piece. Now, I bought this flat bar from Lowe's and I cut it to length. <clears throat> and what that does, this is um, the um, system to allow it to raise and lower. And because of the angle, when this thing is uh, let go, uh, it stops at whatever height you want it at. If you want to lower it, you would take the pressure. So I guess it's hard to do one handed. Let me switch hands here. If you want to lower it, <clears throat> you would let the pressure off and then slide it up. And if you look, it's just barely over if you had a bed of coals there. If you want to raise it up, same thing, same principle. You just uh, push down, get the pressure off of it at that angle, and then you come down like that. And then once you get it down, you just let it go. But this right here is a really neat system. Um, this bar here, um, I think that may be quarter inch, could be a little thinner than that. Um, and then um, I just drilled a little hole here for the cable, drilled a bigger hole that was give allow enough room for this to slide uh, up and down this hole actually could be just a little bit bigger and it still wouldn't affect it because it would uh, because of the angle that uh, you're going to push it at it would uh, wouldn't matter it would actually still lock so then I just spray painted that <clears throat> the same color as the uh, frame itself the tripod so uh, and you could do a round grate or a uh, uh, and I'm not so sure a round grate may not work a little bit better, um, but I just had these around and they were stainless, super nice. They're real thick, heavy duty grates and I just didn't want them to go to waste. <clears throat> but uh, guys, if you're looking for a real neat way to uh, cook uh, over an open flame, this right here is one way to do it. Now I'll actually uh, put my pot sometimes just on this grate. Um, I can actually put a, um, uh, uh, any kind of pot or coffee pot or um, a uh, Dutch oven or any of that. You can actually put it directly on there. Now I've got a separate chain that came with the tripod that hooks right here that I can do away with this and then if I just want to hang the um, pot uh, Dutch oven just by the chain I can and then how you would lower and raise it is actually just bring it up and then hook the chain shorter into this little uh, section here uh, on this hook so that's uh but if you're looking for a versatile way to cook this right here is the way to do it uh out camping and uh, for your preps and all that i just really like this system and it uh, works really well <clears throat> i like it because now i can uh, cook any kind of meats i can smoke them if you wanted to uh, put this over a real smoky low smoldering fire slow smoke uh, any kind of meats or anything like that <clears throat> And it really works well. So anyway, guys, I wanted to bring you this. If you uh, have any questions about this system um, that I put together here, I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions. But let me just give you a once-over real quick in case you didn't uh, miss a little something. Like I said, you got a piece, these pieces here that uh, are like carabiners that screw in tight. You've got four equal lengths of chain. Then you have, and it all comes together to another one of those, and you screw it all in tight, put them all on, and then screw it in tight. Uh, and then you've got this little S hook. Then you've got the cable <clears throat> with, uh, you take the cable and you um, have these little um, pieces here that hold it all together. You have this pulley type system that allows the thing to go up and down smooth without getting kinked. All the way down. To what I call your brake or your handle here that allows the movement up and down piece of flat bar large hole drill to accommodate this size smaller hole here to accommodate the cable and then you just all lock it into place there but uh, anyway guys if you have any questions please post those below and uh, I'll be uh, uh, doing some other videos probably this week and just wanted to bring you this one thought it was a real neat uh, project that I did uh, sometime a couple years ago and uh, if you have any questions or anything like that let me know and as always like share and subscribe and we'll be bringing another video in the near future have a good day guys